Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose P1693 fault code for immobilized transponder error. So basically on immobilizer system, you have a key uh, which is already registered to the immobilizer system and this key has transponder chip inside. So basically when you register the key at the very first time, you are registering the ID number of this transponder chip into the immobilizer system. And when you insert the key into the ignition switch, there's a transponder on around the key cylinder to actually wake up the transponder chip. When transponder chip receives the magnetic field from this transponder antenna, it sends its ID uh, to immobilizer system. And immobilizer system will check the ID of this transponder chip to make sure it's already programmed and the key that you are using to start the car is a valid key. So in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step diagnostic for this fault, starting from the key, transponder chip, antenna, and in case that you have a diagnostic scan tool, I will show you how to diagnose the system with the scan tool as well. First of all, something that I've seen a lot of times, if you have dropped your key and it's already pulled apart in pieces, you're gonna remember to grab all components, including this tiny part that normally many people will forget. This is the transponder chip. This is, this is the main component inside the key uh for the immobilizer system operation so if you fail to grab this one and put it back inside the key of course you won't be able to start the engine anymore so this is really important if you drop your key just make sure you grab this transponder chip as well and put it back inside the key otherwise you won't be able to start the car the next problem could be from the transponder antenna because uh, this component is responsible to generate enough magnetic field to wake up the transponder chip. So if this one is faulty, you won't be able to start the engine anymore. As you see, this transponder antenna, it does have two wires, which go directly to this connector. I have already disconnected the connector of a transponder antenna, and I can remove it as well, just to show you guys uh, how it goes around the ignition key cylinder. So basically this is the transponder antenna. When you put the key inside the ignition key cylinder, uh, this antenna is gonna create the enough magnetic field to wake up the transponder chip. Uh, so if this one is broken, of course you won't have that magnetic field and nothing is gonna happen to the transponder chip and we won't have any communication to send the transponder chip ID to the immobilizer. So as you see here, I do have two wires and these two wires are connected to each other through a coil inside the transponder antenna. So basically, if I check the internal resistance, I should get a value right here. And I can measure it with a multimeter, just adjust it on resistance. So this is what I'm measuring right now. Eight nine ohms this is the resistance for transponder antenna and uh, if that one if the antenna is faulty normally you will get uh, you will get something really high or really low get but if you are getting the value like this it means the uh, antenna is okay uh, so basically if the problem is from here if, if you find this phone broken normally if the antenna itself is just like this you don't need to reprogram the keys anymore after replacing this one it doesn't keep any code inside it's just one component to wake up the uh, transponder chip but in some cars i've seen that the immobilizer control module is integrated with antenna as well so if you if you find this one faulty you have to replace the whole component uh, which of, of course the immobilizer control module is included as well. In that case, you might need to do the uh, key, re key reprogramming as well. I'm gonna show you how to check the system with the scan tool uh, anyway. Uh, you might need to check the wiring between here and the immobilizer control module as well. In this case, immobilizer control module is down here under the dash. Uh, but most of the time, the problem could be from the key itself or from the antenna coil. So today I'm using launch scan tool. I'm gonna connect the device to OBD2 connector. So device is already connected. I'm gonna just put it up here. 
So this device that I'm using today is a US scan. Launch a US scan. Let's go for diagnostic. Uh, for the system list, I'm gonna go for uh, immobilizer. Let's go for reading the data stream and okay. Uh, so as you see, I have a couple of options here. First of all, the most important one is the number of learned keys. So I have already two keys learned for this car. If you check the immobilizer with the scan tool and you see the number of learned keys here is zero, it means uh, you need to start reprogramming the keys again. If you replace the immobilizer control module or ECM control unit, you need to reprogram the keys. But if everything happened all of a sudden, you park the car in the park space and tomorrow morning you can't uh, start the car anymore, uh, you may have lost you may have lost the uh, codes inside the immobilizer control module and that's why this one might show zero in your case so if if you're connected your scan tool and you see the number of learned keys here is zero for sure you have to start reprogramming the keys and uh, for example here ECU status this one is learn this one this one must be learned if you install brand new ECM, this one is going to be version. It means you need to perform key programming. If ECU is neutralized, again, you need to do the key programming. Same as 34 key status learned. It means the reprogramming is already performed. I'm going to show you something in case that you have, for example, transponder chip failure, how it's going to affect the live data in your scan tool. I have already removed the transponder chip from the key and let's see how it will change the live data in my scan tool. Let's go for system list. All right, as you see, system is showing not check because I do have the transponder chip removed from my from the key and the key and transponder is not there anymore. So in case that transponder is missing from your key or if the transponder itself is faulty, you will have this change in your live data. And when I try to start the car, as you see, I don't have immobilizer light here anymore. I should have an immobilizer light. When I turn the ignition switch on, there is no immobilizer light as well. And of course, uh, no starting as well. To conclusion, basically what you need to do for, uh, for fixing this fault code, first of all, have a look at the key. Check your key, make sure uh, transponder chip is inside the key, key itself is not broken, transponder chip is not uh, missing from your key as well. Have a look at the transponder antenna, make sure the connector is seated properly. Uh, you can check the resistance on this one too to make sure it's not broken. You can check the wiring between here and immobilizer control unit as well. And uh, I already showed you how to check the system with a uh, scan tool as well. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you find the video helpful.